good feet able to just kind of cover the cut. Uh. Robert Stewart will run to the free throw line for three shots after Marcel Jones bumped him on the way by. And Marcus USC State 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 a number three, Marcel Jones. 14-point lead with a three. A drop right now for three for the team mark. Oregon State's got to make some kind of run before the break to give themselves a chance for the second half. And you, you look at the body language and that's going to be tough. They need a spark. Angelo Sakuraka is a guy that can hit a couple three pointers, maybe get you back in it. But the USC just they want they want this kind of game. They want to grind it out and make it a case of which team is, is tougher mentally. And, and right now there's just no question about it. Uh, Oregon State not even in, on the same page, not even in the same book, not even in the same library. As USC. Well, it seems like they're a team still looking for their identity, and USC knows theirs. I mean, even Lockwood Stewart said, our identity is locking people down and not allowing second shots, and they have done that all year long. Michael Johnson will come back in for OSU, so will Jack McGillis. And that's a real telling substitution there by Jay John. I mean, you, you, right now the game is in jeopardy of getting away from you, and you take out your top two scores because you're not satisfied with their effort and energy at the defensive end of the floor and the fact that they're settling for long, early jump shots at the offensive end. Stewart makes two of the three foul shots and makes it a 39-26 ball game. You put a couple of guys in it and, and Johnson, Sucker Rogers, and Billis that you, you hope will be scrappers and it just gets you some energy and, and, and some, some hustle and some effort out there. Slugger is knocked down but no foul call and it'll be USC basketball as they force yet another turnover. Out of contact, I mean, Josh Tarver saying that he got tripped on the play, but I thought it was more of a case of him just kind of stepping on the leg of Njai. It wasn't Njai getting in his path. So that was a good no call. Roderick Stewart. Ooh, boy, he looks good today. Wow. And that's a little Roderick jab Stewart. left, and then the, the left-hander going to his right to shoot the jump shot is, uh, is a more difficult shot, but Roderick shows it to Jack McGillis. But look at us here, doing a great job. Bump and cut, there's a breakdown there, leaving McGillis open. They bump every single cut. Their weak side off the ball defense is vastly improved from last year. Stewart again, catch, shoot, oh. score. He's got 17 in the first half. Well, he said, Coach said, I want you to shoot more. <laughs> and Coach, Coach had a good reason for saying that. Oregon State. USC doing it offensively and defensively up against the Oregon school, scoring 84 to win in Eugene on Thursday. And they've scored 44 already on Oregon State and opening up an 18-point lead. Don't get him started. Ladrick Stewart, I had a chance to watch him as a high school senior at Rainier Beach High School in Seattle. And I expected great things from him, and he's showing him in this game at least. A little take, a little inbounds play, moving to his right, squaring up, did a nice job. And just a quick uh, catch and shoot off the pass uh, from the wing area. But the Lavic Stewart, yeah, he starts heating up and knocking down shots like that to go along with Gabe Pruitt and Nick Young and Taj Gibson and the freshman Dwight Lewis. I mean, wow, do, do you couple that great defense with that kind of offensive production. Five All of a sudden, Jones, that sixth place finish in the Pac-10 standings that uh, the media predicted doesn't look too accurate. It looks like it's going to hold up. This is, this is a good basketball team. Hey, if Washington State beats Arizona tonight, we could have, what, a uh, four or five-way tie for first place. I know it's just a couple of weeks in, but this is a terrific year for the Pac-10 Conference. One of the premier basketball leagues in the country. Yeah. Lewis, do it again. Hit him 20. Robert Stewart's career had 27 a couple of years ago against San Diego. He has ripped OSU for 20 in the first half. All of it's been, primarily it's been on just quick catch and shoot from deep, deep areas on the basketball floor. If I'm USC, I'm going back to the hot guy. He's only 6 of 7 from the floor. Josh Tarver misses USC rebounds. Dwight Lewis with the board. And a timeout called by Tim Floyd. One minute and 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Coach Floyd, he's always teaching as USC on a 14-0 run. But Coach Floyd says, hey, I've got something I want to tell you guys. Hey, ACC Sunday Night Hoops presented by Pizza Hut returns this week as Stanford takes on Virginia 
in a rare non-conference meeting. Then Florida State looks to upset second-ranked North Carolina. Coverage begins with the college basketball tip-off show tomorrow at 4.30 Eastern, 1.30 Pacific, right here on FSN. Remember, national champion Florida has only lost a couple of times this year, and one of them was to Florida State. And a reminder coming up at the half, Pontiac Pac-10 game-changing performance. And the U.S. Bank Pac-10 Player of the Week highlights and stance stats as well. Tim Floyd's Trojans on a 14-0 run. 21-point lead. Good defense held that time by Kyle Jeffers. And now we'll inbound. It's been quite a story here in the Pacific Northwest. His leadership not only as an athlete, but his co-chairman of the Oregon State Student Alumni Association. Got to generate some points, and it's usually this guy, Marcel Jones, who's allowed to do so. But so far, the SC defenders have done a nice job keying in on him, and, and, and his main strength is, is knocking down face-up long jumpers. Marcel Jones missing the three, but you see the need for shooting when your two guard twice catches it, and an opportunity to shoot, and twice Wesley Washington turns it down, and USC's giving him all kinds of room to shoot. Yeah, well, you know, he's shooting with one for 12 on the three-point line. If you like him, I'm sure because of his ability to flash and play defense, but right now you need to shoot it. You need guys who can get you some buckets. Nice. Guy has his good free throw to save for the last shot. Magilla says no, he'll hit a three and misses the shot. So USC now can go for the final shot. And Tim Floyd is shouting out just that. We get back to Gabe Pruitt. There's your point guard with eight seconds left. We'll try and break down Josh Tarver. Boy, they played perfect basketball. Nice. That's beautiful. Great you job. See, the last 10 minutes of this first half was flat brilliant. And that guy led them. 20 points for Lodrick Stewart. Shooting 6 of 7 from the floor. 4 of 4 from three-point range. And tearing apart the Beavers at Ralph Miller Court.